Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, Bitcoin is trading or trending well underneath the 50 moving average. And we haven't done that for a really, really long time. So at this current stage, we also have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average, indicating uh, even more bearish momentum. So at this current stage, we could see rallies, yes, but those rallies will most likely find resistance at the 20 exponential. So if we rally up towards 55k, it will probably break down like we basically saw here at the 50 moving average. We could rally up towards that point, but then break down. So I'll get to the point where I'm getting to it in, in, a, in a moment, but if you just take the daily chart in a moment at this current stage, you can see the MACD is in negative territory, well below the signal line. So casting is looking better. It is basically flat at this current stage. CCI is well beneath 100, uh, minus 100, very bearish indeed. And we're getting approach, uh, we're approaching actually um, oversold conditions here at the bottom of the balloon, uh, basically in the RSI, sorry. So we are overstretched in the Bollinger Band and we are approaching oversold conditions. So we could see this rally sometimes next week. And um, those rallies will most likely be sold into. It's going to be interesting to see if this basically, if the 20 exponential acts as, um, acts as um, persistent, then we are most likely going to go much lower with this. We can look at the weekly chart and I think the weekly chart has, uh, we can show us even more that we are about to see this continue to drop further in the long run. We have a crossing here of the, the, the MACD. Uh, and the last time we had this crossing was all the way back here in October, or basically in October. And when we had this crossing, we also had this major rally here. So we rallied from give or take 10,000 all the way up towards the very highs of 64K. So nearly a 6x uh, increase in just a matter of a few months. So absolutely massive rally in Bitcoin. But these technical indicators are turning around. Like they did turn around back in October, they are turning around, but now towards the downside. So we could see a major pullback. We should see a, a lot of resistance, the support, sorry, when we get towards uh, 40, 43K because that is basically the middle of the Bollinger Band here. If that breaks, then we could go all the way down to 24K. That's down here at the 20 moving average. And this looks like what happened back in 2017. If you go all the way back here, this was a major rally, but it is completely minuscule compared to what we have been seeing in the past. So here we also had a crossing of the... Of the of the stock of the MACD, you can see it here. It crossed to the upside, and then we basically rallied, and then we had a crossing here, when we basically basically fell apart yet again. So it's kind of history repeat itself. The crossing of the MACD um, to the downside usually means that this uh, this rally has come to an end. If you go all the way back towards this rally here. Then, then we hit all-time highs all the way back at the 20k. This was a major move to the upside. We were significantly outside of the bullish band, and it fell all the way down to the 50 moving average, down at $5,770. Then it recovered a bit, went up towards 11, 11k, and then it basically collapsed towards the, the, the 200 moving average, down here at 3,273. So if that were to occur, we could see this fall all the way down to the 200 moving average. That's back down at 11K. So a massive move, but history has basically shown us we had this rally here broken down. We had another rally here. It broke down towards the 200 moving average. Now we have, in, we have additional rally. It doesn't really matter how big these rallies are. If these movements are to be repeated or this uh, price action has to be repeated then we'll see this drop all the way down to the 200 moving average 
probably down at 12 to uh, 11 to 12 K. So yes, that is to be seen. It's exciting to be able to see what basically comes to happen. The cryptocurrency market, but at the moment, doesn't look really, really good. So let's look at each room. So each room also kind of, uh, we need to go back here, the daily chart. It has basically fallen apart also in the weekend. We can see on Friday fell on Saturday and now on Sunday is again falling. And we're trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average heading towards the 50 moving average. All technical indicators are turning around and are bearish at this current stage. We'll most likely find major support down here at 1970. If you look at the weekly chart for for uh, Ethereum, you can see that we got really overstretched and then just absolutely hammered. And this could also be an indication that we are about to turn around. Bitcoin usually is uh, the is um, the cryptocurrency cryptocurrency that other cryptocurrency cryptocurrency follows. Sorry. And if Bitcoin were to fall, then it will most likely take all the other cryptocurrency down with it. So that means that we could test the fourteen hundred and the fifteen hundred dollar range down here at the middle of the bullish band. If that breaks, we could fall all the way down to the fifty moving average at eight hundred and fourteen until we settle down here at four hundred and sixty four at the two hundred moving average. So this is long term movements. We can see also what happened here, very similar to Bitcoin in two thousand seventeen. We had an additional rally here, also when Bitcoin rallied and also broke down. So these rallies will come to an end sooner or later. And uh, yes, at the moment, they are kind of favoring the downside. But we have seen major pullbacks before in Ethereum and it has recovered. So um, at this current stage, as long as the middle of the bullish band is holding, then this should be rallying. So let's look at... Ada or Cardano. So also here, we're trading well below the 50 moving average. It had a horrible day on Friday, but did recover. Then we rallied up towards the 50 moving average. And this is kind of what I am expecting for most of these cryptocurrencies that fall below the 50 moving average. When they try to rally again, they will find that the 50 moving average is no longer, so, uh, no longer supportive. They are, it's going to be resistant. And it is on basically here on Saturday, when we try to rally toward the 50, it basically break down. So that basically means that we are most likely going to see a downward trend um, in this cryptocurrency all the way down to the 200 moving average, probably. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this cryptocurrency, we can see that we broke the first Fibonacci retracement. The 50 is down here at 0 0.83. The next one, uh, the, the 61 is down here at 0 0.67. And that is going to be really close to the 200 moving average. So it is to be seen what basically happens here. Technical indicators do favor the downside at this current stage as, as most of them are significantly bearish. So let's look at Litecoin. So as you can see, Litecoin has fallen towards the support and it has basically fallen from the very highs of 300 and not all the miles, but the highest previous uh, uh, weeks of 331 all the way down to the 50 moving average at 217. So if the 50 moving average basically breaks, then we're going to see the same thing that is happening in Bitcoin and also happening in Cardano. And that is that we are most likely going to trend all the way down towards the 200 moving average, which is 140 at this current stage. But the 50 moving average has been very, uh, very supported in the past so we have broken down towards the 50 and then rally and we have also broken down to the very bottom of the bullish band and then rally but these major uh, moves to the upside usually are kind of what i said uh, a few days ago look like a pump and dump and that is basically what we are seeing here it's basically people just buying in order to buy as far as possible and at some point people are just going to dump it and that's basically what happened here so we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement and you can see we have broken below these Fibonacci retracement. And usually what that means is that we'll fall down towards the 100 moving 100 percent here at 171. So, yes, it's not looking really good for most of these cryptocurrencies. So let's look at uh, NEO. So also here 
we had a ma major rally from basically end of March, this month, end of March, end of March, and uh, all the way up towards the hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty-two dollars, and it's it's just ridiculous. But also here, as I said, it looks like a pump and dump, and that is basically what we are witnessing. Uh, so we're basically just pumping this as high as technically possible. And if I were to scroll, put on the weekly chart, it looks like people were just trying to reach this very highs. That's technically what it looks like. They were basically looking at it. We need to get back toward the all time highs here. And when we got fairly close to this point, people just now we're going to dump it. And you can just see this movement from all the way from 131 and where to the very bottom of 72. That is absolutely crazy uh, price action for this cryptocurrency. And at the moment, we are settling at the middle of the bullish band. If that were to break, then we'll go towards the 50 down here at 57. And that even seems really high. If we were to break down below that, we'll head towards the 42 and then the 200 moving average at 30. And even that seems really high for this cryptocurrency that only back in the beginning of 2021 was down here at 14. So just imagine people that bought it down here, they definitely made a massive deal and still have a massive deal, even though we had this massive breakdown. So it is to be seen, um, as I said, Bitcoin will probably be the leader in this market. If that falls further, it will most likely drag the entire cryptocurrency down with it. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is hovering down here at the 50 moving average, very similar price action, massive rally, and then just a massive sell off. And it's finding support down here at the 50 moving average at 253. If you look at technical indicators, they are, well, kind of bearish. Some of them are turning around, but they're still in very bearish, uh, are very bearish indeed. If the 50 moving average breaks, then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 219. And we could all head all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at 148. If uh, everything, if basically things start to fall apart, then the 200 moving average will most likely be where it find major support. So let's look at uh, Ron. Yes, as you can see, uh, very similar here. We have this massive rally basically in 2021. We were down at 0 0.0287. We got all the way up towards 0 0.1764. Yes, that is an enormous increase for this cryptocurrency in only a span of give or take four uh, four months. Now it has broken down all the way down towards the 50 moving average, found support at the 50 at 0 0.0897. And it looks like we're just hovering around in between the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average at this point. Technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. Stochastic, it looks like it's going to turn around, but MACD is heading straight towards negative territory, well below the signal line, very bearish, the same as the CCI and same as the RSI. Momentum is definitely towards the downside. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are far away from the middle of the bullish band down here at 0 0.0558. And that could actually be the long term target here. And this was also an area of massive, uh, massive resistance in the past. So this should act as resistant. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.